Hello folks, this has gone spy. The spy will come to live for Star Wars Nights for Public the Sith Lords, and I'm pretty sure this will be uh, the closing climax of the Act 2 of uh, this series until uh, in the next game uh, later on. But for now, we're going to be uh, wrapping this up in this video in one fell swoop. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy these moments of the Act 2 until the Act 3 comes on at, and after the last game. So without further ado, let's get things started. Um, in the last episode, we have arrived on Onron and the Isis of the city, uh, as it was already in ruins of bad shape than the report has said in the message that Kilborn had told us about. And we're already in the palace. But between us and the, the Queen, Natalia, and Master Kafar is the door in front of in, in between. To get it open, we are going to need to go to the east and west wing to get two terminals to be activated so that the door can be open. But we're going to need to be hurried because wherever that beast is, is not a bomba and it's nasty and it's big and it's tearing the shields apart. So we only got like a couple of uh, minutes or seconds before it breaches through the palace uh, shields and Valku's men to charge in. Now, let us finish this uh, duel. Let us finish this so uh, ordeal of the civil war once and for all. All right, any. Mini, miny, mo. All right then. Indeed. All right, we're going east, I guess. Grenader, hum. Clearly you have no idea that the queen is the least of your problems. Disabled Jord. Set no one victorious at the bottom. <laughs> and it looks like the XL has decided more action. Chicho determination style. Reeve control. Ha 
Access poison gas defenses. Disabling the grand X security clearance. Alright, thank god. What the? Damn it, that's Slicer. Whoever this Slicer is, I'm going to be kicking his ass for this. Nice. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. Domestic of Arm. I need you. I need to talk to you about the Jedi Order. May the force be with you as well, Master Kaform. As you are correct. Once Ma once Queen Talia is safe, we'll talk. I'll talk to this guy later. Alright. Open the storage door. Alright then. Repair Corrupted's key sequence. Um, first key is half by... Okay, okay, um... I guess... 46? Damn it. <sighs> so much for that idea. Oh well. That's right. Yep. What do you need? We've managed to hold this part of the palace, but Andrew's forces control the rest. We need to get to the Queen before that flaming Drexel breaks through the inner door. How do we do it? There are two security consoles in the palace. The primary security console is on the other side of the palace. There's an expert slicer over there who's been hampering our every move. We need to transfer... Yeah, we've been met. Okay, where exactly is the other security council? The other security room is the furthest room down the south hall. We're probably going to have to fight a legion of that room's troops and the flaming sick. But from what I've seen, you're up to it. You're damn right I am. So do you have anything that can help me out? Feel free to take anything from the armory lockers in the next room if you haven't already. No Alright, I'll take care of it right now.
Same as you. Alright, exit security. Open all our security doors. Upload. Area schematics. Alright. Denied. Um, okay. Security cameras. Grand Hall. Okay. Museum. Already been there. Primary security terminal. Wait, that Twi'lek? Huh? Okay, that is just creepy. But I know that guy. What is he doing here? He couldn't be the slicer that's causing the problems. If he is, then uh, he's got some serious explaining to do. I can't get into the details of who this guy is, but suffice to say he's the reason how we're able to get Dagon Gant out of, out of custody. She and style. So we're going to have more incoming. I'm getting really sick and tired of being shocked by a slicer. That's not going to do shit to me. Cheeto style, determination, defeat all enemies. Ooh, level up time. Those must be the royalists. Ah, uh, damn it. Ah, <sighs> stupid controller. Oh well.
Yep, definitely the borderless. And definitely, as Kafar says, there's some troopers everywhere on this side. More with beasts uh, prone in these halls. Access log. Aboard the console overload. Disable remote access. Okay. Access security systems. Alright. Okay, I guess that didn't work. The terminal's gotta be on the other side of the storm. Or it could be another booby trap. Force channel. Force wave. I missed this uh, ability also. I can. Wait, I know that guy? Now I recognize this bastard. He's the captain that tried to stop us from rescuing Dagon again that we brought the evidence. One last surprise. Good. I'm tired of having to deal with your tricks uh, today. Alright. Perseverance Shien. Shields up. Uh, shit. Disable droid. I guess the magician trickster can always pull the last hat mid out of the hat tricks. Alright. Regeneration implant. Stasis field. I never liked this bolted bastard anyway. I knew it. I thought it was you in the security camera. Keith. So you're the slicer that's been giving me the trouble today. That depends on what crimes you've done.
You seem to enjoy your job quite well, given the fact that you've been giving me a hamper with your tricks today. And that last maneuver trick that you pulled. <laughs> Not really the best uh, trick up your uh, magical hat. that you should. But the thing is, I don't exactly believe a word that you've said. I could tell you aren't lying about that either. Why exactly did you help me clear Dagon Gen's name? <laughs> you knew uh, what I am and still helped me? I need access to that console, Keith. If you don't want to get any more trouble than you already have today, I suggest you step aside. Then stay here then. The soldiers will decide your fate. Really disappoint you, Cave, but then again, you are an illegal slicer in your days. So I guess it shouldn't be this surprise. Open all security. Upload area schematics. Upload. Open the force cage. Transfer all primary functions to the secondary terminal, then shut down. Um, of all the people to be here, I never guessed that you would be here as well, Riken. Already done that. I've already transferred the control to Kajon Secondary Security Console. Let's do this. We'll go together. All right. Do stimulate. Switch up with a Mandalorian power shield. And it looks like the remaining reinforcements has arrived. Let's do this. Hello, Colonel Tobin. No Hello there. <laughs> Classic. Um, I already told you the door is not going to be able to stop me, and I already told you we're not done, and not today, or in this life, or in the next, Tobin. Oh, 
Oh, did you? At a time like this? I wanted to kick his ass anyway, yeah, but whatever. That drug soul is the only thing between us and the queen and saving her life. We can't fail. We need to kill this thing before we pr go into the throne room to get her. Using a Toro style aggressive mode. Queen's story battling against Falcom. An all round battle of an epic showdown in the throne room before the finals design of this match. I will not have them fight alone in this battle. I will use battle meditation to rally the royalists, just as Basilis has done for the Republic and during the time of the Jazz Civil War. It's not perfect like hers, but this will be a start. <laughs> Already dropping down like flies. Charge! Almost there. Queen Talia, we're here to help you. Two more of these bastards. Master? I see your skills have a dulled as your tactics. I don't think so. Oh, hello there. Did I miss anything? You must be General Valku, the Donald Trump bitch, Jr. You'll find that I'm um, full of surprises, and you have underestimated what the Jedi is capable of, even if it's uh, because I'm the Exile. Jedi Storm style, Shien. Force Wave. You will not kill the Righteous Queen. Now switch it to Ataru style. And with that, your ambitions ends.
there's there may have been enough blood, but you are correct. And even though I do respect your counsel, Graham, the decision is not mine, but the Queen's. I will stay silent. Your whole life has been a trial by me, but it's over now. You are right. We can't detain you. Too many people are still loyal to you. You've left me no real option. Men, ready blasters. Aim, and you can't. This, this can't be. You brought this upon yourself, Falcoom. I understand. Indeed. Open as well. It seems so. You were looking for me? I know. Yeah, there are some ghosts he has to deal with. Why did you choose these places to hide? Why not on Telos? Adrius is alive and she is also on Telos. She is. She and I come to terms to find other Jedi that are still left in the galaxy to regroup on Tatooine. What exactly happened on Qatar? Responsible and 
really? Well, I have some more, have some questions. That I do. You have to. You must have already seen on Onderon that the Sith has already revealed themselves even before Onderon. It all began on Paragus, the mining facility, and then again on other places as well. I thought that the Sith were defeated at the end of the Jedi Civil War, that Revan has gone to spy and the Republic were successful? Do you know anything behind this thread? Because it's all through the Force? Revan? Really? Do you have any successes on tracing the Sith at all? Why would the Sith even come here or even make an alliance with General Falco or Tobin at all? An excellent place for an invasion. What? I want to ask about something else. Where are all the Jedi? I found Frog, says Kyle, Atrus, and Hugh, but I also found Fash, and she was killed by a Sith Lord on Corban. Where are all the rest of the Jedi? I didn't exactly get that impression from Frog when he and I uh, met again on Dantooine. But you were all looking for me even now? You banished me uh, since the end of the Mandalorian Wars? Why? Do you care about me even now? I almost didn't want to go back. All of you have a reason to judge me and all of you had a reason, had the right reasons to banish me. Because something did die in me after the war. And because something in me had changed, I made many mistakes in the Mandalorian Wars. Things I need to sort things out. I almost didn't want to come back, but 
I was able to meet people that was able to make me want to come back, and a teacher that was able to help me get connected to the Force again, and to deal with Atreus and how much that I needed to find the Jedi Masters. Now, tell me more about the Echoes. Okay, but I still want this as something else. I need to know why exactly you and the others and the Order cast me out. Perhaps it made me, I gave time to reflect after ten years. <laughs> 